to Maputo, back with Furkan again. He picked me up from the airport. So it's been eight long months since I, yeah, since I left uh, Mozambique, left Chile here. Uh, as you know from the previous video, I was supposed to just go to Poland to do a little surgery, but then Corona started and I just couldn't get out of Europe. So um, yeah, that was it. The good thing about it was I kept caught up on my videos, so now they a little bit up to date. Well, not, they're not just one year behind. Furkan, are you excited? I'm back. Yeah, I'm very yeah. excited. Oh, he's well, so so confident. <laughs> yeah, okay. so I'm gonna have to start at Chile. I have some new spares for her, new ads on, and uh, just need to uh, get her ready and then hit the road again. I really have no plans. Uh, I've got visa for Mozambique for three months. Who knows? I'm gonna be in and out, and I don't know. I don't know where I'm gonna go. So, um, yeah, I'm so pleased to be back to Africa. <laughs> Chile is behind his bars. <laughs> She got a bit dusty. Yeah. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> With a curtain. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm glad I got this cover for you, Chili. <laughs> enjoy the coast and I'm probably gonna stay there for a week or so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet but yeah anyway this is the first longish ride we got 115 kilometers to go today
famous for sand. Lots of lots of sand everywhere. And Furkan is on the road tires, but he's doing well. did nothing at all don't know why just I think being here and finally I got to relax on the beach and just uh, have some time for myself but now I'm cooking very organized today uh, guess what of course pasta and tomatoes and garlic and onion that's it it's <laughs> much like a masterpiece on the road except for canned fish of course <laughs> to install 
new bags that I got from Lone Rider. So you remember before I had uh, Lone Rider mini bags here at the Crash Bar. So I thought I got rid of them and left them behind in my footer. But I've got now the new ones, which are quite similar. They're going to just go here. Yeah. I also have tall bags, which look like that. So you see, they like tall. <laughs> and I'm going to install them here at the back of big motor bag. That's going to be nice extra storage. And last one, a bottle holder. I actually love this design. Before I had this bottle holder that it was just, yeah, it had lots of straps hanging out and it was driving me nuts. But this is simple, see? And it's going to be so easy to actually attach it on a motorbike. All right, let's do it. So this is near. I like that solution because you can just like do this. bottle holder and at the back tall bags I think she looks pretty cool hey Julie you're looking very good <laughs> so much extra storage not that I need it you know I'm supposed to go lighter but hey there will be always option for yeah holding sour stuff somewhere look what I've got steering dumper it makes massive difference on sand. I mean, here the sand is actually quite okay, but everywhere else in Mozambique is so much sand. So it makes massive difference. And also, just wanted to show you something else. Swimming in the ocean. I'm going back to bed and watch Netflix. Falcon visited me again. It's Sunday. Hello. After two days of extreme rains and heavy winds, uh, we got a beautiful weather. So, yeah, we're off to the beach. It's well, as you see, <laughs> it's really beautiful. And actually, lots of people this time because it's Sunday, I think.
no matter where you go, send everywhere. I do have a new passport because this one was nearly used so I, I was you know, prepared for passport change anytime soon but that just means I'm gonna have to go to the immigration to get my new passport uh, to get visa on my new passport and just gonna be a headache probably but that's okay I'll get through this 